Okay, this video is for those of you who have split reins and don't know how to handle them. Uh, don't like the crossover method and it is unsafe to carry each single rein on each side of the neck. If you drop one, you're not going to be able to pick it back up. Hence the reason for doing the crossover and bridging your reins. So we've come up with this idea that will solve this problem. We've used rubber bands of different colors so that you can see the placement of them. And what you will do is that you will take your regular reins, your regular split reins, and you will place them over your horse's neck and allow them to drape down on one side and then over to the other side, just as if they were bridged so that you're crossing them over the neck just as you see it sitting here, as if the horse's head was in the head stall and the reins were over the neck. Then you're going to take rubber bands and you're going to put four of them onto one rein and then start sliding them back. If you would like to compete with these rubber bands on there, you're going to have to get a dark rubber band so that they don't show. The ultimate would be to get some conchos and put them into the punch holes in your reins and put them into the reins so that you don't have the rubber bands on there. But in the meantime, the rubber bands will help you to determine what length works the best. By using these rubber bands in this manner, you can adjust the length of rein so that it hangs quietly down on one side, similar to what an English rein would do, but yet they're still legal Western dressage reins. The nice part about doubling these reins over at the top up here, it adds a little bit of weight so that when the reins are dropped to the one side, you still get the weight of the long reins so that it's not bouncing around. I want to caution you that when you do put your rubber bands on, make sure that they're fairly close up in here because if you don't have them close enough, when you droop over, this is going to pop out. So you have to remember that both of these reins eventually will be down like, this is kind of short, but they'll be down like this. So that these ends will technically be pointing up. So you wanna make sure your rubber bands are up close up here. So this will be your end product, the way you'll ride is that you will have your hands singularly on this rein and then I don't, I don't have my other hand so singularly on this rein and then singularly on this rein with the bite of the reins coming down through like that. It's kind of a easy solution for those of you that are in that quandary of wanting to use the split reins because you need the length and not being able to use English reins with the plates on them this is a really easy solution for that. I uh, wish I could patent it. I'd probably be a millionaire. But I am giving it to you all and hope that you can use it and have fun with it. This is Rosemary Root signing off.